I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is the tropical update just for YouTube. Glad you found us here. If you haven't already subscribed, of course, we always encourage you to do so. That way you're always getting the latest on what's happening with Fox 26 and of course the tropics as well. We're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time to bring you the latest on the tropics. And one of the reasons why we do this at around 4 p.m. is because the National Hurricane Center gives its updates at about 4 p.m. And we want to make sure we have the latest information. And there is a named storm to talk about. If you've been kind of keeping track of what's been happening in the Atlantic, you know that there's been an area of invest where they've kind of been watching, looking closely. Uh, and last or early this morning, I think as a matter of fact is when that was decision was made to go ahead and name this. Now it's a little bit unusual in the fact that we're going to call this a subtropical storm and the name is going to be Don. So officially this is subtropical storm Don and we're not going to get too focused on the whole fact that this is considered a sub tropical storm. This pretty much is acting like a tropical storm. The difference being kind of the way it drives itself, what fuels it, where it, how it gets stronger or weaker in the most of the time a tropical system requires a lot of warm water to do that. But if you've got something that's basically sort of a mix of almost tropical as far as the definition and it's still acting a lot of other ways just like it, the National Hurricane Center will give it this title of a subtropical storm. So that's what we're looking at right here with Dawn. That would be our fourth named storm of the season. Overall, it's our fifth storm that, or, that we're keeping been keeping an eye on with the National Hurricane Center. And as you can see by the track, uh, this is the five day track. It's pretty much staying right in the mental uh, middle of the Atlantic and not really messing with a whole lot. And that you'll notice the intensity isn't changing a whole lot either. So currently those sustained winds are at 45 miles an hour. We're expecting that for Saturday, maybe only 40 on Sunday. And again, this is within five miles per hour of each other all the way down until Wednesday. The Hurricane Center also identifying pretty much that this is just a mess that's out there. It's spread out. It's not very well organized. It still is enough of a system that they're going to monitor it and they're going to name it. But they've also said very clearly this literally could fall apart at any minute and lose all of its tropical or even close to tropical characteristics again because it's a subtropical system. Um, so don't assume that this is actually going to hang around for five days. It might hang around for five. It might hang around for one. Uh, it's just a big mess that's out in the Atlantic, and that's the key is the fact that it is sitting out in the middle of the Atlantic, not really going to interact in any land masses and really going to have little impacts overall. So if we're going to have a system that we're going to be watching, this is the kind that I would prefer to do that when it's out doing just not a whole lot out in the middle of the Atlantic uh, as far as interacting with people. People. So again, the latest here, the movement is to the northwest at about eight miles an hour, uh, 45 mile an hour maximum sustained winds and just not a lot of much happening over the next five days but we'll continue to keep an eye on things. So as I mentioned, it's the fourth named storm that we've had. D Dawn, the next named system will be Emily. If you're one of those who likes to keep up with the names of our tropical cyclones, we'll be expecting uh, that to form. That would be the next one that would form. So glad that you found us again here on YouTube. Uh, if you're not following me on the other social media platforms, always encourage you to do so at John Dawson. I'm Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'll, I use all all those just a little bit differently. So find the one you like, uh, log on, connect with me. It would be great. You can, of course, go for all of them if you want to do that as well. I'll for sure be here tomorrow. So even on the weekends, we're here updating you on YouTube. Be sure and check in again tomorrow for the latest on Don.